Well, I think it is so important to study what the Bible has to say about womanhood because in this day and age, um, being a woman can be defined by the number of kids we have, um, where our husband works, what our hobbies are. We're inundated with lots of messages from all kinds of places, family, friends, social media, of course, um, about what it is to be a woman. You know, we're supposed to be soft and gentle nurturers, but yet we're supposed to be fierce and strong. Um, we're supposed to be talented and creative. Um, we're supposed to be driven career women, but yet um, devoted stay-at-home moms. And so I think at the end of the day, that can be so overwhelming. And we just need to go to the source, and the source is the Bible. We have voices that tell us what it means to be a woman that contradict back and forth each other, right? So we have things like this. Here are some of the voices. Have a career, stay home. Take charge, back off. Beauty is important, beauty is not important. Be smart and aggressive, be warm and caring. Be married, stay single. Be sexy and be androgynous. Have a relationship and be independent. I mean, so many voices and voices that are contradictory. So this semester, we're going to take some time sorting through those voices, the voices out there, the ones from the past in our world, the ones um, presently in our world, and then the voices in here that are telling us what our identity is as women, what our purpose is. Jesus actually says in John 8, 32, that if you hold to my teachings, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. And this study really did help untangle a lot of the confusion about what it means to be a woman in our society. Um, I think sometimes we tend to shy away from studies like this because we're afraid that maybe um, some of our thoughts about um, being a woman are going to be shaken. But I encourage you to really come to this study with an open mind. Be assured, one thing you won't hear in this study is that men and women are not equal because that's absolutely not true and in fact we are um, equal in the sight of God We're, um, as believers in Christ we are equal heirs to his grace and that was something that was actually woven throughout the study and it, it helped me a lot but what you will hear in this study is how men and women are very different we were created with different purposes um, for different reasons to fulfill different roles and I loved hearing about that I think it helped me um, a lot in my relationships, whether it be relationship with my husband, with my son, um, with male coworkers, because um, so many times um, differences between men and women are sort of looked at as problematic. And this study really gave me a fresh perspective on that. And um, it's not that they're problematic, it's their opportunities to really complement each other. And so um, trying to look at um, at the differences in men and women with that. Um, we're made differently, yeah, but if we if we see God and the direction um, that He has for us and the purpose that He created us for, we can really complement each other well. Paul talks about the fact that Adam was not deceived and Eve was the one that was deceived in the garden. He points that out. Adam, standing there, he never believed it, which again makes us go like, so you never even believe a lie and you didn't step in? I mean, she believed it. Eve was the one deceived. Now that's not putting the responsibility on Eve because Paul, the writer of 1 Timothy, also wrote in Romans that Adam is the one who carries the responsibility for bringing that sinful choice into the world. So the responsibility is still on him. What that does is help us see the differences between male and female and our unique kind of gender spin on our vulnerabilities towards sin that Satan uses. If any of this sounds interesting to you uh, and you want to learn the truth about what it is to be a woman and what God, how God intended um, for us to walk through this life, then I encourage you to sign up for the Bible study on Thursday nights. Um, it's here at the church, 630 to 8, and I hope to see you there.